My name is Erica and I'm a medical illustrator and actually specifically a medical sculptor. So I went to school as sort of pre-med to study medicine and anatomy, so parts of the body. Um, I can show, for example, this is a skull. So I actually sculpted, I took bones of the human skull that I had on my desk and I sculpted all the parts that we could make a mold and produce this 22 part skull that actually comes apart. Um, I also do, for example, like a sculpture that you see over here of the head. <laughs> So I'm actually doing the illustrations or the drawings of parts so that uh, doctors can understand. So in all the textbooks you see or the illustrations or the drawings of, um, of the body. A typical day for me would be I'd walk into the office and maybe I would um, do some sketches of um, some system, maybe the stomach to explain a, a, a disease of the stomach that you could have and sit down with a team and we would uh, talk about how to make this into a model or a 3D model. And then I use I used to use clay to sculpt and we would use that to make the mold, but now I do uh, digital sculpting, so I use a computer program to help me sculpt the models, and then I would send the file away, and we would get a 3D print made of the stomach, and get it back, review it, and then eventually, um, actually, I just moved back from China, I was living in China for a while, <laughs> because we have a factory there that uses the models um, that makes the molds out of steel, and it's injection molded plastic, and that's how we make them, so what starts in my office is just a simple sculpture, will then be thousands of them as we uh, produce in the factory and so I was working in the factory to produce um, not just horror models but skin like lifelike like a stomach that you see here so this is a stomach for example where the doctor can practice cutting the stomach or putting I think this is a gastric port so a feeding tube into the stomach so he can practice on this soft realistic kind of thing before doing it on a patient when I was younger I really enjoyed drawing um, but more uh, very technical drawing so detailed kind of photographic drawing where I would draw from life and not so much with the painting the abstract painting so it was a very technical drawing but I wasn't sure what kind of job you get if you're drawing so then I um, was also interested in medicine or biology and when I heard of the job called a medical illustrator where you it's a marriage of those two types of skills so you're you are doing the technical side of it biology learning medicine but also drawing and having some artistic um, influence on the job as well. So when I found out about that, I said it's perfect. <laughs> and then out of school, actually, it's 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 a pretty good job actually because you can make a good amount of money doing it. Um, it's um. I think most of the people that go to school for it, there's only three programs in the country that have it as a, as a major, undergrad, and then you can go also for grad school. But um, I think the hiring rate is quite good. So where I am now, I started as a designer, um, and what I'm, what I'm here at this conference doing is I'm actually selling the models. So I'm talking to people and setting up business um, agreements, how many, or, you know, get, trying to get purchase orders and set up business deals. So even though I'm very happy that I went to school uh, to learn the skill or the design capabilities, I wish that I had taken some business classes so that now I can apply that to the real world situation that I'm in. And um, I'm learning a lot of bus about business on the job, but it would have been nice to have a little more of a background understanding how business deals work.